Welcome, bread enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the rich and flavorful history of bread baking. From ancient grains to the modern artisanal loaves, join us as we knead our way through the centuries to uncover the fascinating story of this staple food. Back in the European Paleolithic era, folks were thought to be all about animal protein and fat life, with plant consumption being a rare find. But guess what? An international group of scientists got some exciting evidence to shake things up. Picture this, starch grains from various wild plants hanging out on grinding tools at cool sites like Bilancino in Italy, Kostenki in Russia, and Pavlov in the Czech Republic. These samples come from all over, from northeastern Europe to the central Mediterranean, and they're throwing us back to the mid-upper Paleolithic times. What's the big takeaway? Well, it seems like our Paleolithic pals were onto something. Processing plant goodies, maybe even making flour, was a thing like a common Europe-wide thing around 30,000 years ago. So these mobile hunter-gatherers weren't just meat enthusiasts. They knew how to mix it up with some high-energy plant foods. To be properly digested and realize its full nutrient value, the flour would have to be cooked after undergoing multi-step processing, including root peeling, drying, and grinding into a flour likely usable for making flatbread or cakes. It's fascinating to learn that European men were able to master bread making earlier than any other civilization, even without the benefits of advanced agriculture. But what about producing enough food on a large scale to feed large populations? To know that let's rewind the bread making clock to the Neolithic era in Southwest Asia, where the origins of bread are usually tied to the birth of agriculture and cereal domestication. But here's the twist. Our archaeological adventure takes us to Shubaika, a Natufian hunter-gatherer site nestled in northeastern Jordan, dating back to a whopping 14,000 years ago. A group of scientists analyzed 24 charred food remains from Shubaika to show that our ancestors used some of the founder crops, wild einkorn, for example, to produce flat, bread-like products. Picture this. Flat, bread-like products were already in the Natufian menu, and they used these founder crops like baking pros. Now, before you start picturing fields of waving wheat, let me drop a knowledge bomb. The Natufian peeps weren't big on cereal during their time. Nope. Cereal-based meals, like our beloved bread, only became the go-to grub when agriculture got its roots firmly planted. So here's to the Natufians, the original bakers, laying the doughy groundwork 4,000 years before agriculture stole the show. Let's rewind the flour-covered pages of history to around 6,000 BC when the first whiffs of leavened bread filled the air in southern Mesopotamia, the cradle of the mighty Sumerian civilization. These baking pioneers might have been the OGs, passing on their doughy secrets to the Egyptians around 3,000 BC. Picture this, Sumerians rocking the leavened bread game, adding a touch of magic to their bakes. And get this, they weren't just kneading dough they were throwing in ash for that extra oomph while baking. Talk about creativity in the kitchen. Fast forward to the land of pharaohs and pyramids. The Egyptians took the bread baton and ran with it. They didn't just stop at leavening. Oh no, they upped the ante by tossing yeast into the flour mix. Now, that's some serious dough evolution. Mesopotamians and Egyptians are credited with being some of the earliest industrial bakers. They discovered the magic of fermenting dough, a process that gave rise to the first leavened bread. So they, in fact, paved the way for the bread we know and love today. Ancient Greeks and Romans, in their turn, had a serious appreciation for the art of baking. They developed elaborate ovens and diversified their bread types from simple white loaves to sweet and savory varieties. The expansion of the Roman Empire later played a crucial role in spreading baking techniques throughout Europe. And from that time, it wasn't just about putting dough in the oven. It was a symbol of civilization itself. Baking wasn't just a necessity. It was a reflection of culture, sophistication, and the mark of an advanced society. In the Middle Ages, bread was a dietary staple for all social classes. Bakers formed guilds, ensuring the quality of bread and regulating the baking trade. These guilds laid the foundation for the artisanal traditions we still see today. The Renaissance marked a period of innovation, and bread was no exception. The discovery of new ingredients and techniques, such as the use of refined flours, enriched the world of bread baking. The 19th century brought about significant changes in the way bread was produced. With the Industrial Revolution, mass production techniques transformed the baking industry. The advent of the steam oven 
and the widespread use of baker's yeast allowed for faster and more efficient production, shaping the bread landscape for generations to come. However, in the late 20th century, a countercultural movement emerged, steering away from mass-produced bread. The artisan bread movement emphasized traditional methods, natural fermentation, and high-quality ingredients. Today, bread is as diverse as ever. From sourdough to gluten-free, the world of bread baking continues to evolve. And there you have it, the tantalizing tale of bread baking through the ages. From humble beginnings to the diverse array of bread options we enjoy today, the history of bread is a testament to human creativity and ingenuity. If you enjoyed this journey through time, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more delicious content.